Hi, my name is Keja, and welcome back to my channel. You say hi, mama. Say hello. <laughs> hi there, pretty girl. She was staring at me as I was going to um, set up, so I figured she wanted to say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> you say hi. I love you. All right. Time to go back to daddy. So that was your first real time meeting my baby. <laughs> and she's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready for an interview. Um, so I just wanted y'all to go ahead and get ready with me. I'm putting my hair in um, two buns because I just didn't want to wear it out. And you know, especially like as black women, we kind of get that like fear of like wearing our afros or whatever, but I've, I've done a couple interviews like and my hair has been wet and I don't know I just feel like I don't want to do an interview with wet hair so it could be wet but I don't want it to look wet because I feel like if I'm gonna wear my natural hair like show them the curls you know like show them what I show them what I'm really about all right this is what it is all right and yes I'm using an applicator brush that I use for color to do my part because all of my hair utensils be just vanishing into thin air. I should have my husband come do the back for me because he good at this. All right, good enough. And take it straight on back and down. All right, hey, this part's gonna be crooked. I don't wanna hear nothing about nothing about nothing about this part, this part. I can't even see. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, I'm that bitch, what? Look at all the, the spots that I missed when I was coloring my hair. Anyway, yeah, I did that. I did that. Now I just need to move it out the way. Rubber bands. And I need to oil the rubber bands first. So I'm just gonna take some of my wild growth oil and put some on my finger. Cause I ain't really got nothing to sit the rubber bands in yet. So just move it out the way. Boop. All right, now we got that section out the way. I didn't pull out none of my stuff either. And on top of all this, y'all, my camera for real about to die. I'm gonna use this Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Conditioner, um, just as a real quick like leave-in. And I'm only gonna use like a, a very little bit of it. Ooh, that might even be too much. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm not adding hair because, and I'm putting oil in my hair as well, over top. I'm not, um, here's my brush. And I'm, for, to style, I'm going to use the Eco Styler uh, Black Castor and Flaxseed, and I'll probably finish over with some Gorilla Snot. Yeah, I'm not adding any hair just because I don't feel like it's necessary to add hair. Um, I'm brave. I ain't had long hair since I was 16. So these little buns be looking like little struggle buns to everybody else, but to me it's progress. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just starting by, I've been dipping the brush in my Eco Styler and just brushing it down. Beep, 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 beep. 
Another thing y'all could do is take a comb and um, get it like super extra flat because the comb can get like in, in here where the brush really can't. Wow, fish got inches, wow, that's crazy. And honestly, I did have the, the thought that like, maybe this hairstyle is like, kind of childish for <laughs> a job interview, but who will check me, let me stop that. But I wanted something that was quick and cute. I'm taking Gorilla Snot now, not that much. I wanted something that was like quick and cute, something that looked kind of sleek, you know? You dig? And something to kind of show off my two tone color because I think this color is fire. If you want to see how I got this color, I will link it and it'll be right here. Will it be right here? Yeah, I think it'll be right here or right there. But I'm pretty sure it's right here. So then, after I feel like I got it to a good uh, part of my head because I'm not doing it high. I don't want to do a high bun and my hair not long enough to do a low one. So it'll be like a mid length, mid length, mid height. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna take a rubber band and just boop. Oh, I need a hair tie. It's not tight enough. All right, y'all, I'm thrifty as hell. I made two hair ties. <laughs> Sorry to my husband, but <laughs> I made two by cutting a headband in half and then tying a knot. Now oh, you can't see it, but I, that's what I did. Now I can make it as tight as it needs to be so that it looks a bit more slick. And then, yep, just do a little tiny bun. Boom. And then, you can just go over with the brush and fix any weird spots. Now, other side, do the exact same thing. And honestly, this is only so easy for me to do on like such short notice because it's 1026 right now. The interview is at 11 but it's virtual, which is why I'm not like leaving my house right now. This is only so easy to do in 30 minutes because of how I bleach my hair to all fuck. Uh, just being honest. Oh, shoot. I was like, that side and the other thing is this side. Cause I forgot all my stuff. All right. I mean, the conditioner still gotta go on, so. Better late than never, I guess. Oil. And yes, my hair still is falling out. Um, yes, I keep dyeing it. Will I stop? No. <laughs> but now, I'm just gonna use this front blonde piece. Well, if y'all care about what I'm saying right now. I'm just gonna use this front blonde piece as, um, the thing that I switch up the color with if I choose to do my hair another color. Beep, 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 beep. Long as we both don't like that. I want a picture with a baseball bat. Or going like when I talk like that. Please don't fuck with me. And I gotta make sure they're at the same like height and like backness. Does that make sense? <laughs> I I done this hairstyle before. Um, like before I had locked my hair up. If y'all remember, y'all remember when I locked my hair up. This was like one of the last styles I had done before I locked my hair up and I loved it because it was super low maintenance. Like I could just throw my hair up in these two buns and then just like leave it <laughs> for like, Oh, a week. <laughs> and my hair was bleached to all shit back then too, so. Ha. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling myself more conceited. Feeling myself more conceited. Feeling myself more conceited. I love how I placed this color because I felt like everyone that I saw with this specific, I was looking for brown and blonde. Everyone who I saw with this specific color didn't have enough blonde in the front for me. Because when I was trying to like find inspo, they didn't have enough blonde in the front for me. Because like I'm not a skunk strike ass bitch. Like, and I don't say that in a negative way. Because I think the skunk strikes are cute. It's just that if I'm, if I'm going to dye my hair, I like to dye my hair. Because when I was younger, I was only allowed to do like the little pieces, like the little skunk stripes or a small section underneath, like small, small. So now if I dye my hair, I like to have a lot of color in it. So yeah. And also y'all, you could, you don't have to um, do the little buns like this. You could leave it out into like two ponytails. Does that look okay? I think it's fine. Did I tie it tight enough? I must have. I feel like I did it so quick. I don't even remember how many times I tied it. I don't know if I'm going to do edges just because my edges are like so thin that it might like fuck up what I got going on because of like how much I would have to finesse them. <laughs> but let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to see too. Super cute, right? I can see if I can do a little, little shunt shunt with my edges. I'm just gonna see what brushes forward, if anything. If something brushes forward, then cool. If not, I'm not gonna like try to pull anything forward. I don't have anything to lay on. And I kinda don't want like swooped edges for real, so. I'll be right back. Okay, so I couldn't find what I was looking for. So I'm gonna just let this rock like this. Yeah, I'm gonna just let it rock like this. And let's get dressed. So I'll be back. Um. Also, anybody who's had a baby, like, did your titties go back down? Mine didn't. None of my bras fit. And I've had all my bras since I was like, this is embarrassing. Since I was like 12. Like, <laughs> not all of them, but I've, I've been consistent since I was like little. So the fact that like none of my bras fit and I just be like spilling out everywhere is crazy, but I'll be right back with the fit. All right. Also, sorry if this video is a little bit chaotic. My camera's also dying. But this one I'm wear. I got these slacks from H&M. And yes, it's a turtleneck, but I don't really have any other dressy stuff that'll like fit me right, right now. So, boom. Also from H&M. Husband, right there, you can't get him nowhere. I tie my hair down. This is almost like a body reveal. Ooh. Like my stomach since I had the baby and shit. Get your titties away. Ain't no titties to put away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I'm in my stuff and conceited. I'm in my stuff and conceited. I'm in my stuff and conceited. Ah. You think you all that because you got hair? I got hair too. I love you. I love you too. Anyways, I got the pants on. This is what my stomach looks like. Honestly, my stomach don't look as bad as I think it is. 
And that is a milestone for me because I hated the way I looked. Oh my gosh, the pants, I must be losing weight. Because these pants was not fitting like this. Because the first interview I went to, like after the baby, I had to squeeze into them more than I'm like squeezing into them right now. And I like had to wear shapewear for them to like fit and look like they give body. But yeah, yeah. Yes, am I wearing a turtleneck? It, yes, what is, is it kind of stupid to wear a turtleneck? Yes. These pants are a size four, by the way. This shirt is a small. Um, I can still kind of get away with wearing, not kind of, I can still get away with wearing like my small shirts because they have stretch. And I've obviously lost enough weight to fit back into these fours because before like none of my clothes was fitting and it was so discouraging, like so, so, so discouraging. But boom, see, and me, I hate turtlenecks. I can lift this up now and I'll show y'all the full fit in a little bit. I hate turtlenecks. When I tell you I hate turtlenecks, I've always hated turtlenecks. Um, my mom used to force me to wear turtlenecks as a kid because my mom was always super big on um, like us layering clothes and like being warm and stuff. But I just always hated turtlenecks. But then when I got my first like corporate job, I was like, yeah, fuck it. So I just like tuck it. <laughs> because now it's like, it's August. So I <laughs> just feel like I look stupid walking into an interview with a turtleneck on in this heat. So, boom. It looked bulky in the back, but <laughs> who gonna check me? And since it's virtual, I don't have to worry about like shoes or anything like that. I'm just gonna wipe my face down. I'm not even gonna lie, I have not been doing my skincare. I do my skincare like every once in a while. Hopefully with getting a new job, I'll start back with my um, like thorough, thorough skincare routine. Especially because I'm a bougie bitch and I like to get my skincare from Sephora. So, you know, that shit is not cheap. So it'll be more affordable. I don't want to look into more like drugstore, like more affordable stuff. Like I know Target has nice skincare. That's like more affordable. So I do want to get into that. So I'm literally just Wiping the crust off my face. That's it. Um, <laughs> my nails look terrible. Like, I don't know why I got them done knowing that I wasn't going to go get a fill. But I got my nails done like over a month ago and they look crazy. Like, crazy. I'm honestly just going to take some of this jojoba oil and put it on my face. I use this for my, my daughter's hair. Um, but jojoba oil is good for your skin as well. So... Sometimes I'll steal it and use it for my hair or like my skin. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh, too much. All right. I need to put some on my lips. So I'm gonna grab some. I'm just gonna put some Vaseline on my lips. I'm not gonna do no makeup. Um, I got her. My daughter wanted somebody to be in her face. So, <laughs> woo. Um, but I don't wear makeup. Uh, normally I only wear makeup if I'm, if I want to do like, be like extra, extra. That and my eyebrows are not done, Nietzsche. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I will pay you a visit soon. 10.52 and I still haven't gotten the link. So I'm going to go ahead and call them. But first, let's show you how to fit. All right. Y'all see the fit? Y'all see the fit? Ah, uh, with the Crocs. With the baby, let's go ahead and take this off my head. Doing everything one-handed. Yeah, that bitch. You like mommy hair? Yeah, she gave me a little, she gave me a little smirk, a little smile. One of them is higher than the other, so act like you don't see that. But step back one more time. 
My butt look flat. Goodness. Boop. Ah, with the Crocs, with the Crocs. All right. So yeah, that was it. I'm ready to go. Thank y'all so much for watching this chaotic get ready with me. Um, yeah, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Um, don't forget, my social medias will be in the description box below if y'all want to connect with me and y'all put out good energy for me because I really do feel like I'm going to get this job. But, you know, you can always put out good vibes for your girl, you feel me? But yeah, I love y'all so much. Don't forget, um, my DMs are always open if y'all need anything from me. I love y'all so much. Thank you for always being so patient and always returning back to watch me. Like that means so much that no matter how long I stay away, I still have people that will come back and watch me. So that means a lot. But yeah, I love y'all so much. I really gotta make that phone call now, so I gotta go. But say bye, mama. <laughs> All right, I will see y'all in my next video. Love y'all, bye.